Hello everybody, I'm Dallin and welcome to Extra Years of Zest. In today's LEGO tutorial video, I'm going to be teaching you guys a couple of really easy and simple modifications that you can do on your LEGO Bad Batch attack shuttle, as well as a couple of ways to improve your Bad Batch figures, like this Echo here. He's my favorite. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at them. Before we kick off the video, I'd like to go ahead and welcome anybody who may be new here to the channel. Welcome to X Users S, the place where we talk all about Legos, Nerf guns, video games, and more. If you'd like to, please consider joining us by hitting that red subscribe button down below and hitting that bell icon right next to it to be notified when we make new videos. Okay, so before we take a look at the modifications, I want to go ahead and tell you guys how these tutorial videos are going to work. So if you have seen my Razor Crest modification videos before, you'll kind of understand that this is basically going to be the same thing. Now, what I usually like to do is I like to start off with the easier stuff first, and then we get into the more complex videos later on. But with that being said, I'll go ahead and show you guys one of the easiest fixes that you can do. So basically, you know, you just want to have a little bit more swooshability with the set, which is understandable. And you know, usually when you try to pick it up like this, it kind of just <laughs> opens up like that, which is super awkward. However, there's a super easy fix for this, and I've seen a lot of people across the LEGO community do it. So basically, these are the only two pieces that you'll need to go ahead and make this modification. Um, and what you'll do is you'll go ahead and open up your ship. Mine looks a little bit different, and I'll show you guys how to make that. Um, in a future video. Basically, you'll notice these two flat uh, tile pieces right next to these slope pieces right here. And you'll basically just want to replace those flat tile pieces with these two pieces right here. Just like that. And just by doing that, you add a whole lot more of that stud grip or I, I don't know what it's necessarily called, <laughs> but you add a whole lot more of that connection right there. And now you can swoosh the ship around with no problems whatsoever. Now, another design thing that kind of bugs me as well is the placement of the rear cannons right here. I really do not like how far they are from the gunner's window, which is right here. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move those up. So what we're gonna do, is gonna go ahead and just take off the top here and take off this piece right here. There's gonna be like a little one by two uh, plate. You're just gonna to have to take that off and just not use it. All right, and then you're gonna go ahead and take these pieces right here. These are the pieces that uh, kind of just sit where the guns originally were. And you're going to want to keep all these pieces as well. Now, uh, in your Bad Batch shuttle, you may also notice that there's one of these pieces right here. Um, which is basically the same thing that the guns were originally sitting on. So you're gonna want to have three of these pieces, these two pieces right here, and then you're gonna want two black lightsaber hilts. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and take our top here. I'm just gonna move that off to the side. And then we're gonna take these pieces right here and attach them to our lightsaber hilts. just like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and put them just right here. So they're sitting pretty much below the window right here. Now this part's a little bit hard because these pieces like to move around a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and attach the hinge piece back on to where it belongs. And if you do it right and not try and break the rest of it, um, you should be able to get those gun pieces in just like that. But now we have this little gap right here. So I went ahead and just reused these pieces and just stacked them on top of each other, just like that, and put them right there to fill the original gap. And honestly, I think it looks a whole lot better. It adds a little bit more detail to the back of the ship, give it a little bit more of that rounded look. And then with the guns on the top there, it looks a whole lot better. Now, another thing that I cannot forget are modifications for the minifigures. So let's start off with Hunter. Hunter, of course, is missing a backpack. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is just build one for him. And these are the four pieces that you'll need. So to build a backpack, you're basically just going to take these pieces right here 
and put them together just like that. Take off his head, put it on the backpack, put his head back on, and then put back on his helmet. Now, it isn't the best backpack, of course, but I figured it's just a nice little tidbit of detail that he definitely could have used in the original set. Next up, we have Wrecker. I went ahead and built Wrecker a bit more of an accurate gun uh, to the show. Uh, it looks a whole lot better than the one that he originally had. And then I went ahead and also built a backpack for him to also carry his gun on, on the side. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so now to build Wrecker's blaster, we're gonna need a arc trooper blaster right here, a lightsaber hilt, a stud with a hole in the middle, one of these pieces, I don't know what it's called, and one of these clip pieces. Okay, so first thing that we're gonna do, is we're gonna take our stud with a hole in the middle and our clip piece and put it on just like that. Then we'll take this piece, put it on right there, and we'll take this piece and put it on right there. And then stick our arc trooper blaster in like that. And there you have his gun. Looks a whole lot better than the one he originally had in the set. Wrecker's also missing a backpack too, so let's build it. All right, so you're just going to need these six pieces that you see right here. So we're gonna go ahead and take these two pieces, stick them together just like that. We'll take this tile and put it on like that. Then we'll take this clip piece and put it on just like that. And then the other little one by one plate right there. And then this grill piece on the bottom. And now his backpack will go on just like that. And you also have a place to put his blaster. Pretty neat. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and cover tech. Now the backpack that you see here on tech is basically the same backpack that I made for Echo here. Um, and what I did was I also replaced uh, the piece that goes on his back right here, just with the light gray piece. That way uh, the colors kind of go together a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the tutorial right as I show you Echo. Okay, so here's Echo. He's kind of in shambles, but I'll explain that in just a second. So the first thing I went ahead and did was I really did not like how the waist cape was just kind of uh, printed on here. It really does not look too good. So I went ahead and found a PDF file online um, where you can cut waist capes and pauldrons out of paper. And I went ahead and just colored it all with a Sharpie and it actually works pretty good if you can cut it out just nicely enough. And if you can get the holes just right, it'll fit pretty good actually. Now the only downside to it is it doesn't really have the same durability as the fabric that Lego uses. And then I was also thinking that Echo could also use a backpack as well, kind of just like tech. So what I went ahead and did is built a backpack. Now, I think this is kind of an illegal method uh, here, but I'll go ahead and show you guys anyways. Okay, so as you can see here on the screen, these are all the pieces that you'll need to build the backpacks for both Echo and Tech. So I also just wanna clarify here that these pieces were taken from the levers that you know are usually used for controls or something like that. And I basically just took them out of the little um, piece that lets them kind of just move them around. Uh, but yeah, basically you're just gonna take this piece here and then this cheese slope and put it on just like that. Then you're gonna take this printed piece on and put it just like that. And then you kind of just gonna have to uh, shove these in here and it's a bit awkward, um, but if you can do it kind of like this, where they're kind of folded like that, just over one another, then it works pretty good actually. And finally, you'll get this piece and put it on right there. So that is how you build the backpacks for both Tech and Echo. Honestly, I like how it looks better on Tech, um, and it's mostly just because of the printed piece. But yeah, just adding these backpacks on it uh, adds a whole lot more detail without making it super bulky. Last but not least, we have Crosshair. Now what I did for Crosshair was I also built a backpack for him. So basically, you're just gonna need this piece and 
these pieces as well. Just a clippy piece. And I went ahead and just used this red piece because you'll notice here on the back that he kind of has these red lights here as well. So I'll go ahead and take these two pieces and put them together just like that. And then I'll go ahead and take our little one by one red piece and put it onto the grill piece right here. And you have his backpack. And you can just put them back together. And basically just for the sniper rifle, I went ahead and switched out the rifle from the Lego 501st Battle Pack uh, with this one, just because uh, Crosshairs is a bit more of a modified sniper rifle. So um, I figured this one looked a little bit cooler than just the plain old rifle that we got in the regular set. Now, another thing that you can do with Crosshair is if you have one of these gray hair pieces, you can put them on there just like that. It's not the best, but it's pretty good for a purist minifigure, so yeah. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Stay tuned because next video we are going to be completely gutting the inside of the Havoc Marauder. That way you're able to have all of this extra detail and all of this extra space inside of the ship. It'll be a awesome video, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Anyways guys, thank you all so much for joining me here today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please consider leaving a like. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. It will definitely help a lot. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time.